If you've ever lost your Apple ID password or forgot your passcode and can't access your iPhone, you're in for a world of trouble. Your Apple ID is almost as important as your social security or driver's license. Your Apple ID manages your devices and anything stored in iCloud. So getting locked out can make your digital life a misery. To make things easier, Apple has allowed you to set up an account recovery contact in iOS 15. So even if you forget your Apple ID password or device passcode, you'll be able to access your account. Your recovery contact is someone who can help verify your identity and help you regain access to all of your data. If we haven't met, I'm Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS, and I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. So if you find value in this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so you never miss when a new video is posted. Let's get started. A recovery contact is a trusted individual, a family member, or a friend that you can count on to receive a one-time recovery code if you're ever locked out of your account or device. They must be over the age of 13 and have two-factor authentication turned on for their own account as well as a passcode set up for their device. The individual will need to be available by phone or in person to tell you the code then you'll enter the code to regain access. Once completed, you'll be prompted to reset your password. It's a pretty straightforward task to set up a recovery contact. Make sure all of your devices are up to date. You need to be running iOS 15 or iPadOS 15 on all your devices. Once you're up to date, follow these steps. On your iPhone or iPad, you'll wanna tap on settings to open. You'll want to tap on your iCloud name at the very top. You'll choose Password and Security. And right below your telephone number will be Account Recovery. Select Account Recovery. And then you'll choose Add Recovery Contact. You'll receive some information about how this works. Scroll to the very bottom and tap on Add Recovery Contact. If you have family sharing turned on, you can see that Apple is going to give you uh, a few suggestions of people who they feel would be a, a trusted contact. You can go ahead and choose someone else and then type in the individual who you want to choose, select their name, and then tap on add. When you get to this screen, you have an option to edit this message and send a more personal message to the recovery contact if you choose, or you can just go ahead and tap on send. My message has been sent and now I just have to tap on done. I've been returned back into the recovery contact section where I can see that my message has been sent and now I just have to wait for that individual to respond. As you can see, I've received a text message asking me to become the recovery contact for an individual. And I'm going to go ahead and tap on the link. And when I do, it asks me if, if I want to accept that. I can accept or decline. I'm going to go ahead and tap on accept. And now it's telling me that I've been added as this individual's recovery contact. I'm just going to select OK. And you're taken back into the messages area. Once the individual um, who receives the notification accepts your request, you should receive a pop-up notification when they do. If the individual declines uh, your request or removes themselves later on, a notification will pop up asking you to select a new recovery contact. Now, because I did this with my own two accounts, I didn't receive a notification, but when I come back inside to the account recovery section, I can see that the individual accepted the invitation because it no longer says request pending. So now if you're ever locked out of your device or you forget your Apple ID password, you'll follow the on-screen instructions to verify some of your Apple ID account information. When asked for the recovery code, you'll call the recovery contact. And here's how they will respond with your code. They'll tap on settings. 
They'll choose their iCloud name at the top. They'll tap on password and security. They'll tap on account recovery. And at the very bottom, they'll see your name, your Apple ID. They'll go ahead and they'll select that. And then they'll choose get recovery code so that they can give you the code and you can get back into your device. Whether you want to remove someone as your recovery contact or remove yourself from someone else's list, the process is the same. You'll come into the settings app on whatever device uh, you want. You'll tap on your iCloud name at the top. You'll tap on password and security. You'll tap on account recovery. You'll tap on the name of the individual, and then you'll tap on remove contact, and they will no longer be your contact. You might be prompted at that point to set up a new contact if you choose. While Apple is better late than never, I'm thrilled that Apple has finally made it easy and secure to recover your Apple account. No matter how diligent you are regarding your passwords, it's a good idea to enable this setting. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.